And your local election headquarters now with the results from last night's Rhode Island primary election. The results were rolling in last night and in the Rhode Island governor's race. Helena folks at one point for at least an hour was taking the lead in the number of votes. But as mail ballots started to get counted up, push Governor McKee to the front of the pack with 99% of precincts reporting McKee winning with a little under 33% of the votes. Folks, a fraction over 30%. And Secretary of State Nellie Gorbea with 26% and less than 10% each for both Matt Brown and Dr. Luis Daniel Munoz. And Chelsea Jones is live for us this morning. She's at the State House with details on the final moments right before that race was finally called. Yeah, good morning, guys. So this came down to roughly 3,000 votes. Helena did have that early lead, like you mentioned, early in the night. And some would say that could be contributed to her performance in the last televised debate right over on WPRI 12. But the governor says he wasn't worried. But there was an interesting moment of the night when Helena did try to concede and call the governor. Take a listen to what happened when she did. Helena wants to talk to you. Oh, no, that's not going to happen. Eva. That's not going to happen. Eva, get, hang up on them. This is the moment incumbent Dan McKee learned he was victorious in the Democratic race for governor. I did just try calling the governor. He would not accept my call, so I'm, uh, I'm unhappy about that. McKee beating out his four challengers, CVS exec Helena Folks, Secretary of State Nellie Gorbea, Matt Brown, and Louis Daniel Munoz. At the end of it all, McKee garnered over 32% of the vote, but Folks was right behind him with 30%. To be in a position where just two weeks ago, people were calling me to drop out, and we were this close, a few thousand votes, that means we're on to it in terms of what the people of this state want and need. Later in his speech, the governor says the party needs to come together Together to win the general election. I do thank them for their participation, and we're looking to get make sure that we connect the Democratic Party in the yes. state of Rhode Island yes. to be ready. Looks like Dan McKee may squeak it out. Come November, Dan McKee will face off against Republican nominee Ashley Kalis, who has been critical of the governor. I believe that Rhode Island is sick of career politicians, they're sick of the corruption, and they're basically sick of everything that Dan McKee brings to the table. Now, on the Democratic side of this race, it was a very close one, right? But on the Republican side, the same can't be said. Ashley Kalis did garner 83% uh, of the vote last night. But Governor Dan McKee has won in similar fashion before. Back in 2018, he won uh, his re-election campaign for lieutenant governor by 2,000 votes. For now, we're live in Providence. I'm Chelsea Jones, 12 News.